couple final questions, um, Sasha. I always ask some of my guests, if you could pick up the phone and call up the 20 year old, uh, Sasha, and give that young man some advice based on everything you know now, what would you tell him? What would you tell the 20 year old you to do as a piece of advice? Mm, I, I could uh, tell him something, but I, I, I fear that he, he wouldn't listen to me. You know, it makes no sense. You can't change your like life paths. It just doesn't work. You know, you have to go through some, through some like milestones. You know, so and it's it's really hard to change them. You know, so uh, I, I I've done like a lot of things that I probably wouldn't do now, uh, but I'm not too 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 sorry about it because I understand that it was like a part of my life and I, I wouldn't be the person I am now without doing those things. Yeah. On that same note, what's the best advice you ever received? It could have come from a, a parent or a teacher or somebody in Russia when you were there or is there something mm. that sticks out as, as good advice, life advice or advice about blockchain or programming or anything? <laughs> uh, it's hard, 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 really hard to like, let me think one moment. Maybe I'll come up with something. It's a hard question. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, Tell you what, I'll move to the next. Yeah, yeah. Maybe one. it's not advice, but maybe you know some some kind of like my advice um, that I probably could give to my like 20, 20 year old self. I think uh, we should have an, uh, more empathy for for people. You know, we should try and understand how people operate, not only us but other people, because people are too focused on themselves. And this is what happening is happening in a lot of countries when people just want uh want like to be left alone you now and governments can do whatever you want uh whatever they want and just leave me alone and i just don't want to well this is what is happening in russia now because people are fine with this war and as long as uh, they're not involved you now so if like if they're watching it on tv they feel fine they don't have any empathy you know it's very bad so when you like lose empathy you can't operate as a human being, I think. So we should be always uh, mindful of other people's feelings and this is what makes us human. Yeah, that's really good. Last piece of advice. To that 20 year old that's out there watching or listening to us or someone who is newish to crypto and blockchain, what advice do you give to them in this period right now? I mean, this is a period I don't think anyone saw coming in 2021. Um, it's something you've yeah. seen many, many cycles of this uh, throughout your yeah. career in crypto. But what advice do you give to people now that are in this market or were in this market or are looking at this market? Hey, do you want to profit from crypto? Then join my DeFi Academy. The Crypto DeFi Academy will help you create generational wealth. But don't take my word for it. Listen to my students. When I first got into crypto, I remember thinking to myself, I need to learn more. Brian Rose, learning crypto learning DeFi, gotta do it. I am so grateful that I jumped in and did this. I had to break through some limiting beliefs that I can do this, that I can afford this, that I can be in this. It challenges um, the things that are deeply rooted within us. Joining DeFi Academy has been one of the best decisions I have made on my blockchain journey. This course was a life changer, a game changer, a huge eye opener coming from knowing practically nothing at the speed of the learning over the over four weeks was just fantastic. The information you provided in this class was invaluable. I feel far more confident in my next steps. You took complex concepts and made them easier to understand. What's different than so many other ones is it just doesn't tell you what to do. It uh, actually makes you do it. This is for people who are serious about becoming traders. This is the way it should be done. I realized from this learning experience again that it is not about what you learn, but about who you learn it from. The energy was insane. I've, I've never experienced such incredible energy on a live call. Brian Rose, you, you are a legend, my friend. It's the only thing in the market where you can get all information and learn everything what you need to know. Everything is so clear and so well done. And I am um, just forever grateful for this program. It made me feel so much more confident about crypto than I did before. I did not anticipate how passionate I was going to become about it. That's course has been like a big learning experience for me, not just in the crypto space, 
but just uh, an overall uh, balance of life. What I've learned is, you know, how to take ownership, you know, of my life in a way that um, I really, I really hadn't before. Yeah, you can't put a price on that, really. I would recommend it to anybody, top notch. Excellence does not come cheap. You know, so if you want excellence, you gotta pay for it, but it's so worth it. Pull the trigger. That's what this course is about. You're not gonna regret it, really. It's amazing. Thank you, Brian and team. So what are you waiting for? Crypto is happening now. Click the link below, submit your application, and let me mentor you on how to create generational wealth and build the decentralized financial infrastructure of the future. Uh, yeah, yeah, so if you like, if you're new to crypto, uh, I think you should uh, try to find the project that you like and stick to it, you know, uh, find something for you and understand it, not try to like buy too many tokens, you might trade, of course, and it's like, it's definitely okay to make money. And I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like suggesting that you should be like poor, it doesn't make any sense uh but try to find some value in the token that you buy don't just buy them blind like blind uh find some value find a project you like find a project that you understand that you can like relate to and uh if you're like a developer try to maybe code something for them if you're like in business development try to become an ambassador if you're just like maybe like a humanitarian type of person just maybe like uh try to like engage in the community make some nfts so just there is so many things in crypto now you know so we lack something probably and we could use more dolls and more like non-monetary projects but there's still so many things happening and everybody can some find something uh, that uh appeals to them you know besides like just making profits with like crypto trading uh, it's not even about profit, it's about like uh, like some kind of connection, it's about appeal, it's about like uh, trying to relate to something, like it can be NFTs, it can be like governance, so many things in crypto now. Find something that you like and stick to it. Okay. And what's the best way for people to engage with Waves, uh, invest, or if they want to be a developer, what's the best way for them to come and, and work for you? What's, mm -hmm. what, what's the best way? Uh, yeah, so we have like pretty big community. We're hiring more people now. So we're going to have like a real launch a new ambassador program now. So you can become our ambassador. You can reach out to some people from Waves uh, in our like numerous chats. You can reach out to me on Twitter. I'm trying to talk to as many people as I can. Uh, there is a lot of projects on Waves, a lot of interesting people. Uh, we, we've launched a US office. Uh, so most of our business development uh, is going to be based out of the US now. So it's very easy to, to reach out to us, actually. It's pretty easy to reach out to me. I'm uh, in uh, waste chats, in different uh, chats, uh, public chats, and I'm replying to people. So if you want to reach out to me, you always uh, you always can do that. So find something interesting in the ways. We have a lot of projects. We have like this great uh, like ideas, hopefully, hopefully uh, great ideas about governance. Uh, help us uh, uh, realize them because there's going to be this like power DAO thing. It's called power DAO. There's going to be some kind of like launch of it. Uh, there's going to be an ambassador program. You can become our ambassador. You can promote us. So uh, we are very open to community now because we are trying to uh, like make uh, to do to do good things for the people and our like uh, motto has always been uh, blockchain for the people since 2016 and i think we should stick to it so we are trying to do something for for the people i think this is uh, the only thing uh, that uh, is worth doing and uh where can they find you on twitter because you're quite vocal and quite busy on twitter uh yeah uh, it's uh, uh sasha 35625 <laughs> I don't know why those digits are just like some, some kind of <laughs> um, Sa sense. Sasha, yeah. um, really appreciate the time today. Any final thoughts from you? Uh, so I've discussed a lot of things. Usually it's very, it was a great interview, hopefully, yeah, because I usually don't mention 
nuclear wars when you speak about crypto. So thank you, Brian. It was really pleasant to, to, to talk with you. Uh, and yeah, what I want to like, like mention again, what I want to emphasize, guys, crypto is not about making money only. So you can make tons of money and I'm all for that. But remember that there is like a higher goal uh, in crypto. And uh, if you focus on that, probably you would make even more money. Thank you.